Okay guys, so this is the Unify US8 uh, 8 port power over Ethernet switch from Ubiquiti as part of their Unify range. Okay guys, so this is the, uh, the Unify US8 switch. It is a power over Ethernet powered switch. Uh, and my plan is to power this particular switch uh, using a power over Ethernet coming into the first port and then I'll be passing that through to my Unify ACAP Pro. I'm intending to uh, mount this in my loft space um, and hoping to have two Cat6 cables coming into here which set up in a lag configuration. Uh, the first one being also configured with power over Ethernet and passing that through to the device there. So let's take a look at the box. It takes power in on port one and it can pass that through onto port eight. Uh, this is a fanless switch, sign operation. Um, I must be honest, I've read a few reviews about the, uh, the eight port silent fanless switches, and I am concerned that they might run quite hot, which is particularly concerning for me as, as I plan to mount this uh, on the wall in my loft for it to provide the network connectivity uh, for, the, for the sockets and, um, and my wireless access point. So anyway, this is the quick look at the box. Uh, the front of the box obviously has a nice picture here. It's, uh, we, the actual box itself is a cardboard box surrounded by this sort of this semi-glossy outer cover. Um, side, we've got the Unify Switch 8. Um, Sides, we've obviously got the, the normal sort of sticker of, of authenticity here from Ubiquiti. Uh, the model number, uh, various barcodes, a QR code. Um, so let's have a look at the back of the box. Unify Switch 8, 8 port power over Ethernet gigabit switch with PoE password or power over Ethernet password. Expand and power your network with Unify. Switch US8, part of the Ubiquiti Unify Enterprise System. The US8 is a compact, fully managed gigabit switch, delivering robust performance and intelligent switching for enterprise networks. The US8 features the flexibility of being powered by power over Ethernet or using the included power adapter. One PoE password port provides up to 12 watts 48 volts of PoE output to power a Unify access point or other PoE device. The US8 offers eight gigabyte ethernet ports and supports up to eight gigabits per second total non-blocking line rate. So obviously that's really good. So unlike my Netgear uh, GS108 switches, um, one, of the, one of the other main reasons why I decided to go with the Unify stuff uh, or the Ubiquiti Unify range was because it's all their switches are non-blocking and so you can guarantee that each port will provide up to one gigabit per second transfer speed. Um, obviously like some of the other switches or cheaper consumer switches, uh, the whole port is, uh, the, the whole switch is only capable of up to uh, one gigabit per second. So it would have to share the bandwidth across uh, the rest of the ports that are currently in use. So it says here features eight gigabit ethernet ports, one power over ethernet pass report, Powered by 802.3 AF or AT power over Ethernet or DC power. 8 gigabits total non blocking line rate. Managed by Unify Network Controller. The package contents says here is a Unify switch US8, one power adapter, 48 volts, 0.5 amps, a wall mount kit, and a quick start guide. Okay, so we take a look at what's inside the box. Okay, so we've got the uh, instructions manual here, um, showing us what we need to do. Um, obviously, how the power of the Ethernet works, uh, or how it should be connected, should I say? Um, some hardware overview information. Uh, we'll put we'll put that aside to for a second because we don't really we're not really interested in that probably. So here you go. Here's the switch, protected in this sort of foamy type covering. It's a lovely, lovely colour. So one of the other things that I saw on Amazon, which I was concerned about, was the lack of the ability to wall mount this. Um, personally, I'm going to wall mount this in my loft space, uh, where the, the two Cat6 cables will come into port one and two. Uh, the first port obviously providing PoE from my main uh, Unify US16 uh, switch, which I'll be doing a, uh, an unboxing video of next. Um, so we're feeding the power over Ethernet here. The second port will be used as a, a, a lag configuration, so uh, we'll actually be um, providing two gigabits 
uh, total bandwidth uh, between the main switch and this particular switch. I'll then be plugging in uh, my master bedroom dual port RJ45 sockets into these two. My daughter's room will have a five and six and an eight will be utilized for my Unify ACAP Pro. I must say the build quality on this is actually fantastic. It really does have that sort of Apple aesthetic. Uh, it's all aluminium, really nice shade of silver. Looks really great actually. Um, so just looking over the unit, obviously we've got the 48 volt DC uh, power in here. We've got a reset switch. Uh, we've got an additional ground point here, so we can obviously ground it out by connecting a, an earth here. Obviously the, the case is metal, so it just adds that extra bit of protection there. On the back, we've got the model number, the some information about input voltages and a serial number there. And obviously uh, those all important wall mounting uh, points there that I will be using. Uh, so like I mentioned, the switch is fanless. So obviously we've got these, these vents here and here, which will provide hopefully adequate cooling um, for the device. So that's that. Also in the box, we have the a DC power brick. Um, so, and oh, okay, that's interesting. So I purchased this from Amazon and therefore I would expect obviously a, um, a UK power cable. However, it appears that that's probably been uh, misplaced or simply wasn't changed as part of the box content. Um, not personally a problem for me. Uh, like I said, I'll be powering this device over power or ethernet, uh, but it's worth noting that you might want to just double check, and make sure that you know th this particular uh, version of the switch does come with a UK power cable. Anyway, so pop that aside. And um, that's the power brick there. And that's pretty much all that's in the box. So um, unless you want me to go through the instructions, which I'm sure you probably don't, um, then that's the unboxing of this unit. It was nearly the unboxing of this unit. Um, so I've actually forgot to mention, here's the, uh, here's the wall mounting kit. So as you can see here, um, doesn't really contain much, not very, not very interesting. A couple of raw plugs and a couple of screws. Uh, and that is definitely all that's in the box. So hope you enjoyed the unboxing guys and um, I'll see you soon.